everybody in today's video it is month two of my lock journey i am so happy to have made it to month two so i um been keeping my hair in this bonnet i thought for sure that month two i would come to you guys with my hair with a fresh retwist and all of that but you know between the pandemic and the protests and everything it's just like my hair has been the least of my concerns right so um my hair is underneath this bonnet and let me show it to you i have not done a whole lot to it all i do is put water on it or rose water and oil this is vitamin E oil. I also have this oil from Sephora. It's like a hemp oil, but it's a multi-purpose hair, face, body, whatever. But I put this in my hair and that's been pretty much it, y'all. I thought for sure that I was going to try to put a lot of my product junkie stash products on my hair, like the leave-ins and stuff. I have not. It's just been oil and water, and I am shocked at myself, okay? I've got puffy roots, okay, because I do need to do some lock maintenance on my hair. Um, but even with the puffiness, I feel like my parting space is still good. I just need to, you know, break up the crops and get off in there and um, make my hair... And just perform the lock maintenance on my hair. I'm very uh, happy with my hair. And I don't know how I am going to maintain it. I've tried to retwist my hair. I've tried to use the interlocking tool. I've only tried to do a retwist once. And it was just, you know, okay. And I primarily did it with the, um, the retwisting and not necessarily with these. But... I saw a lady on Instagram showing how she does her three-point rotation, and it looked like, oh, that looks really, really detailed, okay? But I'm still leaning towards just retwisting with oil and water. Um, I did a tester lock, one of these locks, I don't know. I'll put the video up in the cards where I was testing out the castor oil and water method, and you could tell one of the locks was just like standing out from the rest and it held up for a few days or quite a few like four or five days so we'll see uh so when i do come back and after i do retwist my hair i will come back because it's just been a lot going on that you know just i've just not been wanting to do my hair but you know i do maintain it with the moisturizing with the oil and water so i do take care of it i just have not section it off to retwist it. It's been about a month since I've tried to retwist or maybe three weeks, somewhere along up in there. I don't know, but I do need to get better with taking notes about my hair. I am noticing some, some action with my hair. I do feel like it, it, it might be bunching and, and budding. I feel like after I did my wash a few days ago, like three days ago, I did not retwist obviously. Uh, I feel like when I took the braiding and banding down, I did not have a whole lot of slippage. I have one that is feeling like it's kind of come down. One of these in the back, somewhere back up in here. Like this one, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I feel like this has just come all the way down. And I know people who the back of their hair is a looser texture and it's hard for it to lock up and it does slip down a lot or slips a lot. So that could be my issue with this patch of hair back here. Uh, but I do feel like the braiding, what is it? I do feel like it's budding and I do feel like after I took my hair down, there was some bunching, okay? And I'll find that particular lock of hair. And I feel like it's this one. You see that it's like it's bunching, but then again, I feel like it's compacting up on itself, like it's getting ready to shrink. Because you know, when I first did my hair, it was in its you know stretch state and you know freshly twisted and everything, and it was just hanging down. So over the past couple of months now, I feel like my hair is beginning to compact because I do wet my hair a lot. I don't always 
shampoo or I don't always retwist, but I'm not afraid of getting water on my hair from the shower because I hate wearing a shower cap. I cannot, oh, I can't, you know, being a loose natural, I'm just so used to just hopping in the shower and, you know, letting that be it. But I'm having to, I don't want to get my hair soaking wet to where I do have a lot of clippage if I'm in the shower, you know, but just a little bit of water getting on it, I'm okay with it. Because from my research, I find that people are saying that your hair locks faster with water. Now, I have not done that salt water, that sea salt type of situation. I thought for sure that I would be doing that. Have not, have not been putting a whole lot of products in my hair. I am just shocked at myself, okay? Um, I took some more notes. Let me make sure I got everything because month two, it's not a whole lot other than, you know, I feel like it's really doing something. Okay, I got the puffy roots, I got the budding and bunching, I feel like it's compacting, I had a little bit of slippage when I did shampoo, even though I did braid and band. I shampooed with, uh, I can't remember, but I'll put the shampoo here, it was a moisturizing shampoo, I felt like my hair was clean, my scalp felt clean. After I rinsed out the shampoo, I put some oil on my scalp, and I did put the hemp seed oil on because the first time or well, one time that I had washed my hair and I did not put my hair put any oil or any product on my hair when I took it down it felt and sounded like hay so I have learned that my hair needs some type of moisture with it whether it's a leave-in or if it's an oil I've got to put something in my hair okay um in the back y'all I guess because I've been lounging around I feel like my hair is smushing in the back and some of my locks feel flat. Um, like, okay, let me see, like maybe here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but let me see, uh, hold on, I got my mirror. Okay, I feel like, like locks like this, it's like doing something. You see that, it's like it's bunching. And then it's like it's compressed on itself, but I'll let it do what it do. I'm not going to try to manipulate it. I'm just gonna just go with the journey. And you know, if something happens to my hair and it doesn't act right, I will cut it off. It just will be just what it is, okay? So I'm not hung up on the perfect scenario or the perfect storm. It's a journey and I am excited about the journey. I'm just gonna enjoy the journey, okay? Pretty much rose water has been Whenever I feel like my hair needs some moisture like it does right now, I'll wet it, which I'll do that right now while we're here together. And if my hair is feeling some kind of way, and I'm feeling some kind of way, normally it's because I need to moisturize it, okay? I'm almost out of this one, but I'll put, this is distilled water, but nothing else. So when my hair is feeling some kind of way, I'll just wet it and it's like, ah, you know, it's like giving it a drink of water. So I will need to retwist my hair in the next day or so, really. I do need to do that. I don't want to have, um, I'm not trying to do the free forming. Um, but I do feel like my pattern is still good. My, um, you know, my spacing, my parting space is still good. So I'm happy with it. I know that I will not be using the, well, I don't know, but I'm thinking uh, interlocking might not be the thing for me. <sighs> we'll see, but I will come back later in the month whenever I have done my fresh retwist. And you see that when I put the water on it, how it kind of hangs a little bit more but once it dries it's gonna compact so that i feel like it's a good thing that my journey is underway y'all we're here and heading towards month three y'all so that's it for this video i thank y'all for joining me if you're interested in my lock journey if you're interested in any type of things i do over on this channel you can feel free to subscribe to my channel smash the bell so that you're notified whenever i upload a video i thank you for watching and may your hearts be filled with purple joy bye y'all